What's good, y'all? Chuka the Barber here. We at the Rich Barber Hair Studio in West Hollywood. Today I got this 11 minute fade for y'all. So uh, we're gonna get started with the Pro Rich Collection DHT blocking shampoo and conditioner. Then getting back to my station, get my tools ready. Today I'm working with the Andis Coreless Masters and the new Andis uh, Coreless Trimmers. All right. So uh, we got them draped up in the Rich Barber 360 style and cape. Uh, we're gonna get started by trimming this hair. I have a 1 8 guard uh, levers all the way open, and then as I uh, trim it down a little bit, I'll close the lever until I get it at the length I want. So after I do that, I'm taking the enhanced hold spray, applying it to a Sanic strip, and rubbing it all across his hairline. That way I could dry up that area, dry up the hair, um, and uh, makes it a lot more easier for me to do a lineup without the hair moving. All right. Um, then next quick guideline all the way across the beginning of my fade. Now if you want sharper lines and closer saves and just overall better performance with any professional trimmer, grab yourself a one minute blade modifier with a one to two minute modification with the blade modifier and setting the blade correctly close and tight you'll turn any trimmers into some hitters all right so that's on the richbarber.com now i am lining up the other side of his hairline and i always start on the highest side first and then i line it up bring it to the middle so now i'm beginning my fade and you know starting off with the lever completely closed uh, i take it up a little bit take the guy line up a little bit and then I take my trimmers and follow up behind that just to fully remove that guy line, making sure that that bottom part is just completely clean uh, transition wise. And then uh, I begin my fade uh, by adjusting the lever as I take the fade up. But I'm, I'm, I'm opening the lever more as I'm taking the fade up and I'm just removing one guy line after the other and depending on whether I want to do a tight fade, a long fade, or whatnot, that, that determines how high I take each guy line uh, for each step. So, um, which step of the adjustment of the lever. And then after I do that, I throw my guards on and right here I have a 1 16th and I start with the lever fully open take that up and then now I'm fading downward instead of up so I'm closing the lever about halfway bringing it down going below the previous guideline and then I'm like closing the lever completely and then I'm going below that previous guideline until it fully blends together with the part of the fade that was done without any guards just the bare blade alright and that's my fade technique Now I have a 1 8 guard on the clippers and I am doing just like I did with the 1 16th, starting with the lever all the way open, taking it up, but this time all the way up into the crown area. And as I work my way down, I'm closing the lever until I blend it into the previous uh, area that I faded out with the 1 16th guard, I'm just fully making that transition. Now this uh, part right here is uh, very important. Uh, it's important that you fade, cause I fade half of the head and then I fade the other half, right? But the back gotta be fade into the other side. So you wanna make sure you bring that fade all the way over. Uh, make sure that blend, that transition is faded all the way up into the other side. And go like deep into it, like go, go all the way into it, you know, so that it actually fades evenly. So there's a couple ways you can go about this. You can fade half the head, like say for instance we're fading the left, and then you go fade the right, and while you're fading the right, as you're working your guidelines, you can take them all the way over to connect to the opposite side, right? You can take it all the way to the right, the left side. 
um, or you can fade the left side the right side and then work the back into both sides so whatever you prefer um, as of right now in this video I'm kind of doing the second scenario for the most part Having a little fun with my clients. Yeah, I have fun with my clients. I don't know about y'all, but uh, you know, when I go into work, this is like not work for me. This is like this is my social time. This is my time where I connect with my people. I connect with the community. I connect with the barbers. Vibe out in the shop. Like I love the shop vibe. So like for me, this is like a break from work. Now we're doing a little touch up work, some detail work. Making sure that fade is flawless, using the edge of the clipper, just slicing through, knocking out dark spots. Now I'm gonna hook up his beard, fade out the tips. And pretty much keeping this length that he has. And we're just gonna fade out those tips. Line it up. Add a little shape to the beard. And now I'm just touching up the hairline, getting it right where I want it before I add the enhanced hair fibers. So if you want to know how I feel about these trimmers, I fucking love these trimmers. Like, and just did it right with these. I don't think I need, I don't think they did anything wrong. Like they got these motherfuckers on point. But now we're gonna take the Ridge Barber razor holder, hit the hairline. Clean up the beard with it, hit that line. Now I'm taking the Enhanced Pro Barber Kit 2, the whole full kit with the whole spray which I just applied, then taking the clear application card which comes with it, using that to precisely apply the fibers uh, which I have in my hand which is the black with a application pump on it. That completes the full Pro Barber Kit 2. And so we're filling in that hairline. You can see it's a little light right there so we're gonna Enhance it, fill it in. Take 
takes my artwork to a whole nother level. You want to make sure not to overdo it. Make sure it looks natural. I give this away complimentary with every haircut. Um, and it just, number one, like it, it makes the clients feel a certain type of way. It enhances the cut. Um, number two, it makes barbering more enjoyable for me. Uh, and number three, presentation. Like, say if I was trying to get more clients, although that's not something I really try to do now, but you know, in the past, like I, I wanted the presentation of my work to be at its best, right? So when I take pictures, share it on Instagram, and when they go around the public with the haircut, I mean, it just stands out, you know what I mean? So um, use it to your advantage, use it to your benefit, and yeah. Remember, we're selling a feeling. Ultimately, it's a feeling, all right? That's what we sell it. Hit them with a little more hold spray, and we good. That's a complete cut. Make sure to subscribe if this is your first time on this channel. Leave a comment, leave some feedback, let me know what y'all think. And don't forget to get your free ebook in the link below The Rich Barber Method How to Attract Clients, Keep Them in Charge More. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you got some value out of this content today. Peace.